forthcoming coronation next year on May the 6th, 2023, actually have some Hollywood stardust. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. For those that are looking at this beautiful visage behind me, they are the buildings, of course, of St Pancras Railway. Yes, I mean, it's incredible, isn't it? The beautiful terracotta. It's wonderful to think that these buildings have been up now over a hundred years, still in use and, you know, recognized by so many people around the world. King's Cross St Pancras, you know, has been used for so many film locations. Famously, the 39 Steps. Uh, I think twice now, in fact, the Harry Potter films. So much more. And how many arrivals and departures have we seen? outside those wonderful gates just wanted to share that with you because a lot of people do say to me where is the location where you're at back as ever though to your breaking royal story of the day now as we know his majesty king charles is a man who likes to do things privately you know we told you recently how some of the refugees from ukraine have been assisted by both the queen consort and the king and uh, they've been relocated and that's nice to know again all privately done it does get leaked out in some areas of media this latest story also we wanted to highlight simply because it has been once again leaked out not by his majesty the king's communication team but as ever you know things do come out it's been well shall we say revealed that his majesty will be assisting for the lower paid people within the royal household who are struggling with the cost of living crisis directly out of his own private income nothing to do with the British taxpayer at all. I think that's a wonderful gesture. Whatever people think, you know, there's always going to be cynics. But, you know, as I say, it wasn't meant to come out. It simply did. But what a nice thing to do, knowing, of course, as he will, that everybody is simply struggling around the world right now in this mega cost of living crisis. But to more fun things, hopefully, because on May the 6th next year, we can look forward, of course, to a wonderful, splendid, and for many, including me, first coronation, you know? Wonderful. I can't wait to see it just because of the historical factor. I do hope they give it the full bells and whistles, as they say. Don't want anything cut back. Now, according to a very good source, it looks like that a very special Hollywood star at least will be getting an invite. And as ever, let me explain. You will recall earlier this year at that wonderful Platinum Jubilee celebrations out at Windsor, in Windsor Great Park, where our late monarch, Her Majesty the Queen, looked absolutely delighted at the show that was put on, you know, a walk through history, a gallop through history. Wonderful event, and she just looked like a little girl, didn't she? Pointing out all the things, it was nice to see. Well, one of the MCs of that particular segment was none other than the Hollywood superstar, Top Gun mogul himself, Tom Cruise. Now you may have heard if friendship developed, so much so that Tom was invited firstly to tea with Her Majesty the Queen and then for an informal lunch. Tom as ever has remained tight-lipped. That's why he's remained good friends. Not only was he a good associate of the late Duke of Edinburgh, but he's a major, major royal fan, having lived over here in the United Kingdom on and off for many years. According to a very good source, and as ever we have to say allegedly, it looks like Tom could be given some kind of, well, if not just invite, a certain role within the forthcoming coronation. Now, I think this is a splendid idea, given the fact that so many of our wonderful American friends love everything royal. Now, whether you're a fan of Tom or not, what you have to think of is, he's proved to be a true gentleman, a huge support to the British monarchy, and for those <laughs> ladies of a certain age, they were very envious of the fact that, of course, he was nicely assisted the beautiful Princess of Wales up the stairs at his premiere in London's Leicester Square. And, you know, a lot of people said, oh, he broke royal protocol. I just think he was helping a girl in heels. It's so as simple as that. So for now, what we are being told is that somewhere along the line, it looks like Tom could be uh, be given some, as I say, kind of role or at least an invite. And this is because, according to that source, the King was really pleased with the way that Tom Cruise brightened the day for, of course, his late mother, our wonderful monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. Apparently, she was absolutely delighted in his company and, more importantly, thoroughly enjoyed it in some very dark times. As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.